Hi everybody, for this task we're going to create a slideshow with Google Slides. You can use a slideshow to help teach a lesson in the classroom with text, graphics, animations, and even videos. They really help engage your students and keep the lesson flowing well so that you can focus on teaching. So to create a Google Form slideshow, you can go to slides.google.com and you can use a template or just start with a blank, which is what we're going to do. This takes you to the creation page here and you can see up at the top that you have a menu and then there's a toolbar and then over on the right you see some themes that you can choose from we're just going to go with the simple light theme so we'll close that there and then we'll go ahead and get started so i'm going to name this slideshow word problems this is going to be a math word problem slideshow and then change the title uh, up here we don't need this subtitle here so i'm just going to click on that and delete that and then we'll call this word problems. Now I'd like to go ahead and change the look of this title here. So when you, once you select that element there, you can change the color and then you can go to the font that you want to use. I'm going to use this font right here and this is I'm satisfied with this title page. I'm going to make a new slide here. If you click on this arrow over here, you can see that you've got some different formats here. I'm going to go with this the simple one here that's just got a heading in it and I'm just going to get started I want to make that just a little bit smaller I'm going to write the text of the word problem I'm going to change this to the same font that I used before and just start with a simple word problem Jenny picked 14 flowers and I want to present these one at a time the the elements of the word problem so I'm just going to copy that move that down there and then continue then she gave eight flowers to her mother and then I'm going to paste one more time and put in the question here how many flowers does she have now okay so you can see that things are just a little bit uh, messy here so I'm going to go ahead and select everything here so if you click and drag over everything then you can go to your arrange here and I'm going to center everything and then one more time I'm going to distribute this vertically so it's all even so now these are all lined up here I'm going to select everything one more time and I want to move this up to the top and to the right just a little bit and that's so that down at the bottom we'll have some room I'm going to project this on the whiteboard and I want some room for students or myself to work but right now uh, first I'm going to just change the color of each of these elements here I'll change this one to red I'll leave the last one black and then over on the left I'd like to insert an image just to make it look a little more interesting so I'm going to click right here for image search the web and then you can directly search for something within Google Slides and any kind of image and I like this one up at the top that looks like that might fit well so I'm going to choose insert and just move it resize it a little bit moving up here so that's looking pretty good uh, the next thing that I'd like to do is add some animations I'd like to bring in each element of the word problem one at a time so I'm going to go to transition up here click on that and that opens up the animations panel on the right if I click on that first component of the word problem right there Jenny picked 14 flowers I can select that object to animate it and we've got some options here first is what type of animation it's going to be and you have different types I'm gonna go with fade in that's just a basic dissolve and then the second option you've got is how that comes in does it start on the click when you so that you can uh, animate manually or is it automatic I'm gonna go with after previous that means that after the previous animation which is the slide turning it'll just automatically happen then I'll move down to this next component she gave eight flowers to her mother and click on that and stick with fade in for that and this one I'll keep on click because I'd like to control that myself manually and then I'll do the same thing with the third part the question of the word problem I'd also like to add a transition to the slide itself so I'll go up to the first option up here and we have some different types of transitions I'm going to apply the cube and apply that to all slides it's like a rotating cube and then I'd like to add another word problem here so I'm going to duplicate this slide 
And so I go over here to the left, right click or control click, and I get some options and I go to duplicate slide. And now I'm just going to modify this slide so it's a different word problem. Same kind of thing, subtraction, word problem. The change this to Mario, found 15 pebbles. Then he gave six pebbles to his, let's say to his brother. And I'll just change the question so it makes sense. And then I'm going to delete that flower image and look for a pebble image. So I'll just find one quickly, insert that, and then just resize it a little bit so it fits up there. I'll just move this text over just a little bit. And then this is looking pretty good. We're ready to preview this. So let's go up to present and we'll choose present from beginning of the slideshow. Click on that and then we see the title card there. And I'm just pressing the space bar or clicking to go through the animations. And you can see that each part of the word problem gets presented separately. And then this gives some time for students to talk about it, do some calculations. And we go to the next word problem. And that all looks pretty good. Just hit escape to exit presentation mode and you can keep working or modify how you like. Those are the basics of creating a slideshow with Google Slides. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.